I joked earlier when I say when it rains, it shakes here, but man, we really have a day underway here. I know. We've not only got that little earthquake just to the southwest of Vancouver, we've also got lots of rain and lots of wind out there as well. I want to start with live pinpoint Doppler. The focus of the heaviest rain has been stalled out all morning northwest of Portland. That line from the coast, about Tillamook or so, over the coast range into Longview and then the Cascade foothills. That's why there are real flooding concerns for our rivers, especially in the coast range in southwest Washington right now. All of this is going to sag to the southwest, so even if you're in the light rain right now around the metro area, it won't last long. 3D Pinpoint Doppler is a great tool on a day like today because it gives you some perspective. Uh, these towers indicate heavy rainfall. Rainfall rates reported up to a half an inch of rain an hour uh, out of this system, and you can definitely tell as you head up to the north and the west, that's where the heavy heaviest rain has come down more than an inch since midnight in Scappoose, more than half an inch in Portland, and then un just under half an inch in Troutdale. On a normal day, that's nothing to sneeze at, uh, almost a half an inch as of 648 in the morning, but today that's not much compared to what we're seeing out north and west of town. Uh, just over two tenths of an inch in Salem and out along the coast. Everybody has more than half an inch since midnight. Flood watches and warnings in effect just about everywhere west of the Cascades. Portland is under a flood watch right now. We're watching Johnson Creek very carefully. Minor flooding is expected there. And then flood warnings in effect for a lot of locations. This includes many counties. I will have a complete list in just a few minutes up on coinlocal6.com. Uh, so rising waters, I'm expecting expecting two to three inches of additional rain in the valley, up to seven inches additional rain in the coast range. Ponding on roadways, so that's already happening. Rapid rises on rivers. And to give you perspective, I know I've said this a couple of times, but I think it gives very good perspective. The Willamette River in Salem expected to rise 10 to 11 feet by Wednesday. So here are the wind gusts that we've seen out at the coast. The heftiest wind gusts on our pinpoint weather net uh, sites. Cannon Beach, a 99 mile per hour gust reported just before 5 o'clock this morning. Lincoln City, almost 60 miles per hour there and a 57 mile per hour gust in Tillamook this morning. So we've got high wind warnings out at the coast through this afternoon. Wind advisory through this afternoon for the central and southern Willamette Valley and a high wind warning as well in central Oregon and eastern Oregon with gusts there up to 65 miles per hour. This rain is nearly stationary, but again, it will be sagging down to the south and there's plenty more where it came from. You can see all of those clouds, they hold rain and they will rain will be with us throughout the remainder of the day. Here we are paused at noon. There's that heavy rainfall we've been watching all morning long and look at what happens. Then it traverses over the metro area this afternoon. And later on this evening, I think we get a little bit of relief maybe, but it's still pretty wet out there. The winds die down, though, quite a bit overnight. And Tuesday looks like a fairly soggy day as well, but not quite as wet as the day that we've had or will have today. How about rainfall totals? Our model is projecting uh, more than an inch by tomorrow, and I think that's a given. And then an additional couple of inches out along the coast, more, of course, of the coast range. Heavy at times. The rain for the coast and the Willamette Valley. Breezy just about statewide today. So hold on to your hats as you head out the door. Temperatures in the 50s this week will be wet at times through Thanksgiving. And then it looks like another potent system arrives late week. Carly?